The Niagara game, obviously, you, you get up on, a, you go up on a plane, you know, you go, you you, you practice up there, uh, different environment, uh, a challenge for our guys. We knew it was going to be a challenge for our guys. Uh, Niagara had just played St. John's very well, very tough. Their last game, they're a physical team, they have big guards uh, that we knew would pose some problems. Uh, again, we got off to a rough start. We didn't we didn't start off. We're still trying to figure out maybe the right starting five uh, at this point in, in time, which is what you're trying to do in non-league. Um, but we adjusted. Um, our guys then got got things going. We started shooting the ball very well. We shot the ball very well in the first half. It got us back in the game. Uh, second half, we we get down probably about nine with six minutes to go, and our and our guys did a really really good job of of keeping their poise. Uh, I was happy with that. We come back, we get a, we get a few steals, we make some plays both on the offensive end and the defensive end, give ourselves a chance to win on the road against a tough opponent. Uh, we go into overtime, same thing, up down the whole thing, and and uh, was really happy for our guys, especially Trevon Woods, to to make that play going to the baseline and uh, make that little tough runner. Uh, happy for him and, and happy for our team. That's what you want in non-conference play. You, you don't want 40-point blowouts either way. So I think for us to have uh, this type of schedule where we have a bunch of road games, have a bunch of um, home games where we're playing against light competition, uh, most of our games in league end up being uh, decided in the last four minutes of the game and and for us to have had a, a ton of games at the same time in non-conference play uh, exactly the same and to have to get some stops to have to figure out okay who's going to get the ball down the stretch what kind of entries are we going to run what you know what how, how are we going to play down the stretch it's it, you can't put a price tag on it for us to get some wins with that is great it's great for our confidence and and hopefully it'll help us once league time uh, you know comes around and and we have those same situations Akeem is a kid that we recruited out of high school. He goes down to South Alabama. Uh, it doesn't work out from down there. He goes to a junior college up in you know North Dakota, and 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 finally uh, finds his way back home um, around the corner to, to us. And and uh, we were excited to be able to get him. Uh, we think uh, we thought the world of him coming in. He is what he is. He's a very talented kid. He's got the ability to play really really fast, um, which is the way we like to play. Uh, he's got the ability to pass, dribble, and shoot, uh, and he's he's been tremendous. He's been tremendous in practice. He takes over practices at times um, with his talent. Uh, we need him to continue to get become better on the def be better on the defensive end of things, a little bit more consistent that way. If he does, the sky is the limit for him because he's a really talented player. So Sam Houston, we played them a few years ago. They're a perennial team in the Southland Conf Conference. Uh, uh, it's going to be a major challenge for us. Uh, we knew that. Uh, we, we wanted that uh, to have them come up here uh, to New York. They're going to be a tough team. they got big physical guards. Uh, they play the right way. They're very well coached. Uh, that'll be a tough, tough game for us uh, as we're going through finals. Uh, then you have Incarnate Word, who's a little bit more of an unknown. They're they're new to Division One. Uh, they've had some big wins in the past. Last year, I think they beat Purdue or Nebraska, something like that. So so they're they're a talented team that scores a lot of points. Uh, should be exciting to get again to get a chance to play in the Barclays Center before Christmas. Uh, it'll give us two opportunities to be close to home. Uh, and, and challenge ourselves against two quality opponents.